Welcome to the Statistic NED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to import pivoted Excel data in R and we'll be using the tidy Excel and unpivot R packages both written by Duncan Garman's way. So what is the challenge today? The challenge is to import data that looks like this. And before I start showing you how to import this data, I want to point out that all the credit for the work I show here goes to Duncan Garman's way. Um, he created these two packages and he also documented them very well and wrote a book called Spreadsheet Mungen Strategies. I really like that title and the examples we show here are from the chapters 312 and 313 so you can follow along in his book. It's available online for free even so that's really great and of course some more credit goes to the Tidyverse team that popularized this idea of tidy data that um, yeah, spreads to more and more um, applications. Right, so let's see how we can import this data. Um, of course, <laughs> I wish that you don't get into the situation of having to import data like this. If it's only a one-time task, you may be tempted to reprocess the data in Excel maybe, or in, with the help of some other tool, maybe some manual steps. Um, because that's more convenient and maybe quicker for a one-time job. But let's just assume that you get data like this on a regular basis and you want to get rid of all manual steps in processing the data and let's say you can't influence the way the data is um, delivered to you so you have to automate this process of importing from this format. So the first question we may ask ourselves is what should this data even look like in tidy format? Like how would we want this data to be? And what is the goal of our processing? So I don't know if it's obvious to all of you. Um, so we have, you, you may want to pause the video if you want to give it more thought. So we have four levels of headers all together, two levels of headers to the top and two levels of headers to the left. And each of these levels should become its own variable. So the data in tidy format could look like this on the right. Um, we have a numeric variable that is here called score that contains the actual values and then we have four variables that each correspond to one level of header sex so we could call it gender then we have the name and for the two header levels to the left we have a variable field and a variable subject so each header level is a variable but now the question is how can we get from the format on the left to the format on the right how can we automate this process and also, let's keep in mind that three of the cells are highlighted in yellow, so we'll look at this a little bit later. So the first step is to read the data into R, and the key function we're using here is the XLSX cells function from the tidy Excel package. The nice thing is that as soon as you have the unpivot R package installed, you have access to this Excel workbook that contains all these great examples that are so well documented in Duncan Garment's Way's book. So we're reading in the data, we have this path to a system file, so we don't need to download it from any website. And I'll show you a couple of rows from this data. So the key idea is that this XLSX cells function processes the data in such a way that each cell of the original Excel table is an entire row of data in R. So this row contains um, the address in Excel style like D2, E2 and so on, but it also contains row and column as separate numbers or variables in R. We have the data type and then we have a numeric and a character column for the actual values. And let's also keep in mind this local format ID column that we need later to process the formattings. So each Excel cell is represented by one row in R and how do we move on from there? The second step is optional. Once we have the data in R in that format, we may want to look at it in the layout that it had in Excel. So there's a convenience function in the unpivot R package called rectify. So using that, we get a layout that uh, mocks this original Excel format with rows and columns, and we see this pivot table here. Right, but how do we process this further? So the next step is to just filter non-blank rows and select variables. There's no tidy XL or unpivot or magic here, just plain dplyr code or tidyverse code. So we're just using the two functions filter and select from the dplyr package 
There is a column called is blank that was generated by the xlsx um, cells function that we use to read in the data and we can just filter the non-blank rows and then select a couple of rows. So the data looks like we see on the right now and the key is the character column that contains all the header levels. So our task is now to break this up um, and to make the contents of this one column into several distinct variables. So the key step is really the following step, step four, turning character entries into headers level by level. And there's one key function that we can use repeatedly here. It's the behead function from the unpivot R package. So there are really four lines of code that do the decisive work here, behead. Um, you can follow along this code um, when you have the package installed, unpivot R and tight Excel, you can access the Excel worksheet, workbook, um, and maybe repeat this code and, and see line by line of code how each level of headers is transformed into a tidy um, into a tidy data set or into a column in its own right. So we have the two outer levels of headers um, that contain the sex and field variables. So the directions are up, left, and left, up. And then a bit more straightforward, the two inner header levels, name and subject, just specifying the directions up and left respectively. I must admit that I would struggle a little bit to come up with this code from scratch, but we can um, use the examples that are already there as templates and maybe experiment a little bit with the directions and then you should be able to um, tidy your data like this. Right, so basically that's most of the work done. We have transformed this pivoted Excel data into a tidy data frame. One piece of information that we have not processed up to this point is these highlighted cells. Maybe you remember three of the cells were highlighted in yellow, and this could be meaningful information. For example, maybe these students missed too many days of class, or maybe it's also a positive attribute, something additional that they achieved. And this could be documented somewhere in the Excel sheet um, but let's say we need this information in R to process that further. How can we do that? There's a key function that we can use, again, from the tidy Excel package, um, complementing the XLSX cells function, XLSX formats, to access cell formattings. Preparatory step is to use the same code as before, but keeping the row and call variables and store the result in a data frame called unpivoted. So we have that available at this point, and now we need additional information corresponding to these highlighted cells. So we're using the XLSX formats function, and you see that what it returns is a deeply nested list. You see there are several dollar symbols, quite deeply nested, so a format not too convenient to work with, but very useful for this kind of information that is processed here. Again, this is something that we may not come up from scratch with by ourselves, um, but we can look it up and follow these examples. And you can also, if you have the time, inspect this XLSX formats object more closely to see what a wealth of information about Excel formatting is stored there. And now the key idea is to create a second data set. Here it's called annotations um, that just contains the row and column information plus the fill color. We have this local format ID column that we saw before that contains information on these formats and which formats are the same and which are different, for example. And we can use that to um, to assign the fill colors. We're doing that in this mutate call here. And then we have a second data set annotations and we can join that to the original data that was called unpivoted. And we just join by row and column um, to make sure that um, yeah, the data corresponds well. So what does the final data set look like then? It looks like this. The first five columns are the same that we saw before and now we have this additional column fill color. You see that for most cells of the original Excel data, it's NA, but three of the columns um, were highlighted in yellow, so we have the hex codes here. Note that I 
don't display the full data here, I use the slice function from dplyr um, so that we get to see these three highlighted cells and a couple of other cells that were not highlighted. This is hex code. Um, I think the first two um, characters correspond to a transparency and the actual fill color is the last six characters. So this is yellow, um, full red, full green and no blue. Right, that was basically it. So now we processed a lot of information in a fully automated way to import all this from Excel to R. And I have two more slides just to give you a bit more of an overview of what we did and which functions you can use. So first of all, a couple of key functions from these two packages, tidyxl and unpivotr. So tidyxl gives us the two functions to read the data into R. Excel is Excels. It's what we used at the beginning to um, obtain the cell contents and then XLSX formats if you need to do that. <laughs> I wish again that you um, don't get into the situation of having to process data like this, but if you do, um, don't worry, there is a solution to that. And then unpivotr helps us process this data. We saw this rectify function to display the data in the Excel layout. <clears throat> and the key function that did most of the work was the behead function. So we can compare the behead function to the tidy R pivot longer function or the older gather function if you like. Um, so they are similar but behead needs the output of an S cells or XLSX cells function so it works on the specific type of object and it can um, work when there's more than one row of headers. So it's really <coughs> dedicated to the specific task um, and in that way different to tidy R pivot longer. There's a function that we didn't use today, spatter. It um, corresponds to a tidy as people wider or the old, older spread function. And again, it works on the output of S cells or XLSX cells. Okay, so this was a quick overlook, overview of some of the functions. And now to give you a little bit more general information about um, the packages so that you get a better ori orientation of these packages. First of all, comparing tidy XL and read XL as Duncan Garman's way put it, tidy Excel is more general and less magic. And then comparing his two packages, tidy Excel and unpivot R. So tidy Excel is the package that helps us import lots of information from Excel to R, and it leaves it to us, to the user, to re-encode this information without losing any vital information. And unpivot R is the package that assists us in the re-encoding step. Of course, these aren't the only packages designed for these kinds of tasks. You may want to have a look at the unheader package. It's got a nice convenience function, annotate mf, and I put a link here to a GitHub profile that, um, or GitHub site that shows you how to use this package. And Duncan Gamsway also gives an overview of a couple of other similar packages. Um, but the, one, the two that I really can recommend full-heartedly are TidyXL and Unpivotr. So thanks to Duncan Garmansway for this great work and for making it available for free. I hope these ideas get more popular. All the best for your own data analysis, for your data import tasks. I hope you found something useful in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best. See you next time. Ciao.